Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated camera for render and how to set up predefined bookmarks so you're able to get to the shots that you want to render. Okay, so first off, you want to create an uh, additional camera and not to use the perspective camera because that is for your workspace. Now we can go to create on the top pull down menu, create cameras, camera and aim. Alright, so the camera is already created. Now let me switch over to another panel where I can just go to my camera one, going to zoom out, hit five to turn on shaded mode. Okay, what I want to do now is to do a proper framing, but I want to know where I'm rendering into. So first I will need to check my render settings and make sure that my preset is set correctly. Okay, in this case it's full HD. <laughs> Next, I want to turn on my resolution gate. So this actually gives me the framing. Okay, everything that is within this area will be rendered out and anything that is outside won't be. Okay, so the next thing where I want to set is this. The focal length. Okay, so you need to go to view, camera attribute editor. On this side you will see the focal length by default is 35, we want to set to 70mm. Okay, which is the same as your camera on the DSLR. So we are setting up the framing. Okay, so there we go. Once I'm satisfied with this view, I can create a bookmark so every time I can come back and revisit this uh, view. So let's head over, view, bookmarks, edit bookmarks. Click on new bookmark and rename this to full shot because this gives me an overall shot that I want. So just click over here and it will update. Okay, so um, I'm just going to keep this open. Now the next one that I want to set up is a close-up view, so I change the focal length to 100. Okay, so this is equivalent to 100mm. Now I'm going to change my view and set up a view which I can see my gramophone and horn speaker. satisfied with this. So I'm going to click on new bookmark and change this to close up. Click to update and close. Alright so now we're set up with the bookmarks. Okay so even that if you accidentally change the view I can go back to here view bookmarks and go back to my full shot and close up. Alright, so that's it for now.